Welcome back for another video. Today's video will be about a man named Magdaleno Salazar. Magdaleno is from the West Side Harpies 13 Gang in West Adams District of South Los Angeles. Magdaleno had previously been convicted of killing someone at age 17, but that would not be his last time killing someone. Around 2.30 a.m. on July 25, 1993, Kathy Mendez and her friend Cynthia Bonilla were at a Jack in the Box restaurant. They met Magdaleno whom Mendez knew as Toy, and Enrique Echeverria, whom she knew as Rascal. Mendez, Magdaleno, and Echeverria were all members of the Harpies gang. Magdaleno drove the four of them to another restaurant, the Yoshinoya Beef Bowl, at the corner of Figueroa and 30th Streets. The Beef Bowl was on the fringe of Harpies territory and was sometimes frequented by other gangs. Mendez, Salazar, and Echeverria were the only Harpies gang members present in the Beef Bowl. Salazar was wearing a white t-shirt and Echeverria a black one. Mendez heard the men say they needed to take care of the neighborhood and should not be caught slipping. This meant they intended to control the beat bowl as gang territory and not be caught unaware by rival gang members. Two people were approached in the beat bowl that night and hit up by gang members asking where they were from, a way of seeking their gang identification. Arnold Lamus said he was eating with two friends when some guys came over and they hit us up. The man doing the talking was wearing a white t-shirt. Lamus told him that he and his friends were a party crew, meaning a group that hung out together and went to parties. The man in the white t-shirt threw out the name Harpies, to which Lamus responded, it was cool because I didn't have nothing against nobody like that. While Mendez waited in line of customers, Salazar and Echeverria left the restaurant and stood just outside. As the doors opened, Mendez heard Salazar tell Echeverria to get the cuete, a slang term for a gun. Echeverria retrieved something from the car and put in his waistband. Mendez then saw a man while past the beat bowl. He was shirtless, had a cast on his leg, and to Mendez, he looked like a gang member. Salazar and Echeverria confronted this man in front of the beat bowl and began wrestling with him. The front of the restaurant was glass from the floor to ceiling. Mendez heard gunshots and saw Salazar shooting in the direction of the cafe next door. She threw herself to the floor. There were a lot of shots, maybe eight or nine. Salazar and two fellow Harpies were visiting friends when they saw a neighbor leave the apartment building. Believing he might be a drug dealer who had money, they decided to rob him when he returned. The victim was shot and killed in the hallway. When the shooting stopped, Mendez went outside. Salazar was half carrying Echeverria to the car. Drops of blood marked their path. Salazar was holding what looked like a 9mm pistol. He helped Echeverria into the car and drove away. Mendez went to the cafe next door where the man with the cast on his leg was lying face down. There was a lot of blood. The victim was Enrique Guevara. His cousin Giovanni Guevara was with them on the night of the shooting, but had succumbed to the fatal disease by the time of trial. The party stipulated that Giovanni would have testified as follows. When he and his cousin went to the beat bowl, Enrique was not wearing a shirt and had a cast on his leg. Enrique parked the car in front of the other cafe. As Giovanni entered the beat bowl, he saw two gangster-looking guys. Moments later, he heard gunshots, but did not see who was shooting. He was told his cousin had been shot to death. Sabino Nungare, a Harpies gay member, testified that around 3 in the morning in question, Salazar knocked on his door and told him that Echeverri had been shot. Nungare went with them to a hospital. As he helped Echeverri into the building, Salazar drove away. Echeverri had testified in the Harpies defense. He told the jury that he had shot and killed Guevara, had been convicted of the killing, and was currently in prison. He said he and Salazar were standing outside the beef bowl when a car drove by. The occupants were staring them down and looked like gangbangers. And Severian went to his car, retrieved his gun, cocked it, and placed it in his waistband. The other car parked and the passenger went inside the beef bowl. Salazar followed him inside. The driver emerged shirtless and appeared to be under the influence. He produced a 25 caliber automatic and said something to Echevarria, including the word Dresse which Echevarria took as gang reference. Then the man began shooting. Echevarria said he was shot three times. As he reached for his gun, his assailant came closer and shot him three more times. Echevarria grappled with the man and fired all 14 rounds on his clip as the two wrestled. Echevarria fell on top of his attacker. Salazar appeared and helped him to the car. Echevarria had dropped his gun, which Salazar retrieved. 
Salazar drove Nungare's house, then to the hospital. Although Magdalena Salazar was viewed as aiding and abetting, it didn't change the fact that Magdalena Salazar was convicted of the shooting and killing a suspected gang rival, which was the first degree murder of Enrique Guevara. Due to already being previously convicted of murder, this only made it worse for Salazar, as Magdalena Salazar would sentence to the death penalty.